How are you doing? Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, are you excited to play Crazy Girl? I'm ready. Are you ready though? I've got a hat, I've got our visors. Mm -hmm. Here's your hat. Thank you very much. Can you start this game? Yeah, let's have right. So, ladies first. Oh. And swingers is one of my favourite crazy golf spots. Not that I'm any good at it. I feel like so nervous right now. <laughs> what, doing the shot? Yes! <laughs> So what music are you into? I'm into all music, mm -hmm. but growing up I would say uh, I listened to a lot of like R&B and hip hop. Yeah. Obviously like the 90s were a big thing when I was yeah. growing up. So stuff like Wu-Tang, Biggie, yeah. Tupac, SWV, Jodeci. Oh, I love that. That yeah. was my shizzle, uh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, my yeah, shit. Yeah. So that's how I kind of got into it. And then I used to listen to a lot of like Trevor Nelson on Radio 1, Rhythm Nation, but I love jazz. I love indie. Yeah, yeah. I love house, a bit of everything. Played before. Yes. <laughs> Come on. That's how it's done. I've done so many like mainstream television shows. Mm -hmm. So was that like a conscious decision or? Um, if I'm completely honest. Yeah. So as a kid, I wanted to be Michael Jackson. I know. I read <laughs> that about you. Um, <laughs> I remember being like at a kid's party mm -hmm. with my family and my cousins like playing computer games and I just started telling jokes. So I think even back then I liked the idea of like entertaining and making the masses happy. So that's probably why I kind of felt like the mainstream sector was my thing. Then I realised I can't sing and I can't dance. So the whole Michael Jackson thing was out of the question. So I thought presenting is like the next best thing. Um, so that's kind of how I fell into it. But even once I got my degree, and then moved back home. My mum was like quite a strict like woman from mm -hmm. West Africa. Yeah. And you know, in her generation, like a young black male trying to get into the industry was a, a hard thing. There was only a, a few black faces on the TV screen at that point. So she was like, go out there and get a proper job. Go and work <laughs> in a bank or something like that. And like- Big up I, Melvin's mum. Yeah, big up my mum each and every time. But um, I think for her, it was hard to see like that progression from going to uni to, to becoming like a presenter on TV or on radio and it wasn't until like I remember I got my first paycheck at KISS and she was like okay this radio thing can work <laughs> like when she started getting the money and yeah, seeing the, the paychecks happy, coming yeah. through then she was happy What do you think of the music industry and like where it's at in the moment? How do you think it's all going? I think it's all about online now yeah. and, and digital. They control everything. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's an, an exciting time because I think back in the day it was all about being signed to labels and being part of a label. And I think now, if you're a great artist and you're in your bedroom and you upload something and it gets heat, you can basically grow your audience in your, in your bedroom. If we take someone like Stormzy as an example, mm -hmm. I would have never in a million years imagined a kid from South London doing grime music headlining Glastonbury. Yeah, that was That's that a was sign amazing, of the times yeah. for me. So You know, who should we look out for? Is there anyone that's come on your show that you think actually they're going to be like massive? I think two weeks ago we had M. Honcho on, mm -hmm. who he's a drill artist and melodically he sounds amazing, lyrically he's on point. I love his work ethic. We had Bugsy Malone in the other day. Yeah. He's sick. We've had Stormzy in before. Yeah. If you're on our show, then you're worth listening to and you're worth celebrating. Thank you so much for Thank meeting you. with me today nice and having this little chat. Did I beat you? Golf. No. Oh, okay. So um, nice. I think the cocktail's on you. Okay, great. <laughs> right. What, £2.50? So, how much are they? <laughs> is it two for the price of one? Uh, Happy hour? We, we could check. We could okay, check. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> well, that was super fun. We went to Swingers, me and Melvin, and we rocked it. We had the greatest time. I beat him. That was always going to happen. But uh, now we're going back to the studio with Keller. <laughs>